Hey everyone, Harriet here, hope you're doing okay. So we have a brand new unboxing video and it is this month's Loops Anime Times Crunchyroll. This month's theme is Blade and I know two of the animes are Sword Art Online and Bleach. And we had Bleach a couple of months, a couple of months ago with one of the boxes and um, yeah, I have this weird plasticky bit sticking out. I don't know what it is, but we shall soon find out. So let's get opening. It's a tiny box this month as well, but they do say good things come in small packages, so we shall see. And um, the first thing I see, it's stuck to the box. <coughs> and it is... Oh, sweet. Okay. This is something that loot crates haven't done before. The lounge pants. <laughs> I hope they fit, because... Uh, they might be a bit too small for me, let me see. But as you can see, it has uh, Ichigo on one leg. If you can see, there we go, if I do that. There we go, so you have Ichigo on one leg. And um, I can't read Japanese, but it's probably his name in Japanese, maybe. Uh, let's have a look, see if I can stretch them out a bit. I think they might just about fit me. Um, Hopefully they're a bit tight here, but squeeze, <laughs> squeeze into them long enough. Um, yeah, that's a really interesting item. It's different than a shirt, definitely. So yeah, interested. I like it. Okay, next we have uh, this is a Loot Crate exclusive. Was the uh, was the lounge pants Loot Crate exclusive? No, they weren't. They were officially licensed by a Beach. Uh, I'm guessing this is a wall scroll made by Just Funky. I've heard of them. I think they did a couple of items in one of the boxes from last month. Something like that. Oh, it's a Gintama. It is a wall scroll. So you, you can't see, but um, I do have a couple of wall scrolls in my room. I have a school live one over there with all the characters that I got from Japan. I also had one up there recently of uh, Karumi from school live that I got from a vending machine again in Japan. Uh, but I used to have a Yukio one when I was younger and oh my god I treasured that so much that Yu-Gi-Oh one because it had all the mate it had Yami and Yu-Gi-Oh and it had Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl but oh I loved it and it's the main character I forget the main character's name because I haven't seen Gintama in such a long time but that's really nice I'll have to add that somewhere if I can find like a a nail and add it on but I love the quality as well it's not like most um fabric wall scrolls it's kind of a bit plasticky which is good because, uh, I can't, you know, it's just more quality. And you can actually see the detail in the art. You probably won't pick it up on the camera, but the, the, the quality of it and the, and the fabric that's used in it. But that's, I like that. Really nice. Okay, next we have the manga for this month, and it is Sword Art Online Progressive. So I don't know if this is a continuation of Sword Art Online or not, um, as I have not read the manga or watched much of the anime. Um, let me have a look. Yuki, so it's about Asuna. So Yuki Asuna was a top student who spent her day studying at cram school and preparing for her high school entrance exams, but that was before she borrowed her brother's virtual game, uh, reality game system and wound up trapped in Sword Art Online with tens of thousands of frightened players. As time passes, Asuna fears what will become of her life outside the fantasy realm, the failure she might be seen in, as, uh, in the eyes of her peers and parents. and willing to wait on the sidelines for more experienced gamers to beat the game, Asuna employs her study habits to learn the mechanics of the game and swordplay. Her swiftness impresses Kirito, a professional gamer who invites Asuna to join the best players on the front line. Is Asuna ready to swap class rankings for playing rankings and join Kirito? And uh, yeah, so I'm guessing this is from Asuna's side of the story because obviously from what I remember seeing bits of the manga and the anime, it is from Kirito's side of the story. So I might give this a read, uh, see what it's like because I, I'm not really into RPG animes. Same with Mecha. It's one of those ones that I really have to get into before I, I like the story. But Sword Art Online, I really couldn't get into as such but like I said I will give this a go and I'm guessing it's an exclusive cover because it's lovely and shiny as well so like, reading that was just literally my light was bouncing I was like <laughs> blinded but yeah I that's a really nice cover so lovely look great exclusive there okay next we have a berserk item so I did watch the original anime of this 
my god it's brutal <laughs> especially the end but i know the manga does carry on and i really need to read the manga of this um again this is a loot crate exclusive they have remade this i think it's all 3d and i haven't heard great things about it which is sad um so i'm trying to avoid it as much as i can but probably at some point i will watch it and see what it's like so let's have a look and uh see what it is oh blimey i've just read what this is and if i'm guessing this is yes it is guts sword and it is from what i read on the box it is a letter opener wow i <laughs> i don't actually own a letter opener because nowadays you know <laughs> The only letters I get is like bills and junk. That's pretty much it. The only thing I get now is parcels and stuff like that. Ow, that is sharp. And it does actually say it is extremely sharp. Use the care, not a toy and all that. Um, but that's really neat. If you're a fan of Berserk, that is really cool. And yeah, there's not really much more I can say about it. It's around here. It has the ribbon, you know, like the fabric that he usually holds a coats his sword with i cannot speak tonight it's been a long day at work <laughs> but that's really cool so if you're a fan of guts if you're a fan of berserk this is perfect for you okay next we have the phone charm and it is yumi so she is look, looking like she's about to get into battle she's drawing her sword but looking extremely happy at the same time um that's really nice what i've done now i found all my phone charms that I've got from Loot Anime and I've put them on the wall behind me because I have a little nail sticking out so I'm going to add this to the collection because like I said I don't really have any room or I don't have a hook on my phone um, and my 3DSs and PSBs literally have charms on them already and um, I don't use that grip for phones but it's handy for those who do and I think that's the first time we've had one of Umi, of Yumi, even, I can't, <laughs> Umi's water, isn't it? But, uh, yeah, I really like that. So that's nice to have Yumi have her own charm. Okay, last but by no means least is the poster and the description of what is in the box. So, going with what the charm is, it has Yumi in her, I'm going to have to lie back a bit, but Yumi kind of posing as if she's about to attack in the moonlight. You can imagine the hello, yo, <laughs> sort of music in the background. That is really kick ass. I love that. I don't actually uh, put the posters up of Yumi, but that is so badass. I might actually do that. I'll have to find somewhere in the room to put that. Oh, oh yes. Let's have a look. See what's on the back. We know we've seen them, but we repeat. So we have uh, we have the Sword Art Online Progressive Manga. And yes, this volume showcases limited edition cover art exclusively for looters. We have the Berserk Sword Letter Opener. We have the Yumi Blade Charm. We have the Gintama Wall Scroll. Gintoki, that's it. I was trying to remember his name. And then we have the Bleach Lounge Pants, which I'm still trying to get my head around. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a good box this month. And the box... What does it turn into? Oh, it turns into a sword holder from what I can see. I did notice there was holes at the side and at the top as well. So it's kind of used to the swords in diagonally, crisscross sort of thing. But I don't open the boxes or open them out. My friend Rachel does. She's very talented at doing that. And I know a lot of people do as well. So that is it for Luke Anime. I don't know what the theme is for December as they haven't announced it yet but i seem to be getting my loot anime boxes a bit later now because my post office again keeps on delivering stuff and i'm sorry about the noise behind me that's my neighbor's kids so <laughs> so i hope you liked what you see i'm hoping to do more reaction videos and thank you so much for all the views and the likes on it so far because you know it's something i did on the whim over the weekend and i have a couple more that i'll be uploading soon after this so if you like them I'm really glad you do and as always I hope you like this video, like, subscribe, all that jazz and I shall chat to you all soon. Bye!